I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in then. <laughs> Squeeze banana. This is actually funny. Big Shaq says, would you consider reacting to positive documentaries? Slander documentaries make me uncomfortable. This is not a slander documentary. What are you talking about? I don't do those. I'm not going to some shithead drama YouTuber's channel who's a scumbag who literally did no research and is just saying ridiculous accusations. That's not what this is. This is a researched documentary that with factual evidence of things that happen and this documentary follows up and actually gives the truth of the matter like i said this isn't just oh here's all the accusations from pro jared okay see you later this is here's all the accusations but then moving on by the way here's the follow-up and here's what happened with this guy when he proved that this was true and this was not true that's what this documentary covered okay where's the evidence present evidence of what you're saying i think we're like just we're just under 50 members the last time i checked we're just under 50 members over on DSP React. And it can only get better. Like, seriously, in time, it can only get better. Where the more members we get, the more videos are getting submitted, and then the show will get better, you see? Yeah, I think we're at 40... I think right now it's just 46 members, which is great. Because just a few days ago, we were just under 40. And now we're at 46 at climbing. So you see what I mean? Like, this is good. People are watching the content over there. Only one week. Rubbing their hands to you. Yeah, getting that vibe back, baby. Yeah, I'm getting the groove... This is pretty darn good performance. I'm very happy with this. So thank you guys for embracing it. Thank you for thank you for all the feedback. Because here's the thing. The feedback is key. Already I got another interesting piece of feedback. What people are saying is, as I'm daily releasing videos from DSP versus the internet, don't say part this, part this. Instead just say, okay, DSP versus the internet episode one, here's what you're reacting to. DSP versus the internet episode one, Here's the other stuff you're reacting to in this part. That's it. Don't number the parts. Okay. I guess people are saying most people who do React content don't have parts like that. All it is is, hey, here's my React video for the day. Here's the content. Watch it if you're interested in said content. That's it. So that's how I should treat it. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. I'm not like other streamers, guys. I'm going to do, you know, DSP versus the internet, episode whatever, and here's what's in this part. That's the title of the video. I think that's the best way to go about it. Again, I'm taking your feedback directly improving the content so please keep sending it my way it's helping a lot it really is okay cool and of course if the react content continues to grow very soon ladies and gentlemen very very soon I will have a second YouTube play button for DSP React. Woohoo! I gotcha! Yes. Because I got this one so recently for DSP Gaming. I mean, it was just like yesterday when I got my 100,000 subscriber YouTube play button for DSP Gaming. Correct? It was just like the other day I got this in the mail. So, I cannot wait to get this, this identical YouTube play button for when DSP Reacts hits 100,000 subscribers, which should happen within about a week, I think. I think we're, on, we're well on pace. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, freaking... I would be <clears throat> godsmacked. I would be... My jaw would dislocate, jump off my face, and hit the floor so hard it would make a hole. <clears throat> if we hit 100,000 subscribers... <clears throat> On DSP Reacts. That would... I would... I, I can't imagine. The first week of the channel, it got th 1,300 subscribers. That's great. Right? But can you imagine how long it would take to hit 100,000 subscribers over there? Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> Never. <laughs> and what's funny is, you get some people who say things like, well, why didn't you play Metroid Prime Remake? Because they didn't announce it. They just dropped it. When I'm in the midst of four other playthroughs, how am I supposed to play another game? That would be pretty irresponsible, don't you think? You know, so, am I interested in Metroid Prime? Yeah, I am. I'd like to eventually play it again. I mean, I did play the game once, year, many, many years ago. And I would definitely like to replay it with a better frame rate, you know, better controls, uh, on a modernized con uh, console, you know, the Switch. But, 
again, how do you play it when you drop it in the midst of all these other things I'm already doing? You know, this is my job as well as my hobby, and I would feel irresponsible to say, oh, we're 30 hours into a game because Metroid Prime came out. Let's just drop the playthrough now and just abandon hundreds, if not thousands of people who are watching that playthrough after the fact, right? That's messed up. So, I hear you, because I know for a fact, taking a look at DSP Gaming this last week, and I'm seeing the views on every video I'm putting out are stagnating and going down, and it's like, I, what the fuck? You miss a stream. You can miss a lot. Wow, I missed one stream three hours, and... Phil's way in this next part of the game. I don't know how he got all these upgrades or how he got these new weapons or, you know, I missed a ton. You can literally miss an entire stream of Hogwarts or an entire stream of One Piece or, you know what I mean? You miss nothing. When a game has a trickle-feeding strategy, essentially nothing you do ever feels too important, right? So I understand that. That's also what they do with TV shows, with movies. They have different pacing strategies. And if you have something that just has a trickle pacing. Nothing ever seems too important. Compare this to like a sports season, where in a sports season, there's like five zillion games. So if you miss five of them, it doesn't even matter. Like it didn't even impact the season, right? <laughs> excuses, excuses. If developers develop games for people who don't have actual time to sit down and play them, that's why you end up getting all mobile games. They don't create games for streamers and their audience. You're right. So essentially when you look at all the gaming landscape, right? It's like, it's tough. I very well could have skipped many different games. I could have skipped One Piece. I could have skipped, I guess, Hogwarts, right? We could have skipped all these long playthroughs, and then what would have happened is we wouldn't have had enough games to play. And people would have complained, oh, there's not why are you playing indie games? Why are you playing retro games? There's nothing going on, right? So it's, it's kind of the double-edged sword. I'd rather have more content or, or be doing too much than not enough. I feel that way. Like, more is better than than, than less, right? So, <clears throat> maybe that's the thing. Maybe my problem is I always think that it's my fault. Like, I think, man, the reason that this is happening is because I, you know, something I did... <clears throat> Ugh. Is this shirt that you're wearing today the same shirt from the Mitch Dyer video that you made years ago? Uh... I feel like I need to step away from the mic. I got gunk in my throat. I'm belching uncontrollably. I look like a pile of pudding. I'm stepping away from the mic for a second to regroup. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm supposed to be a professional, for God's sakes. Hold on a second here. Ah! Oh! 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 oh. oh. Oh, come on.